Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I made a video and being honest, I I guess at the moment, I guess, or for the time being, I guess I wasn't really feeling so great, so I didn't want to make it. I didn't want to come off as being not genuine, you know? Um, oh my gosh, it's hot. Um, so... I guess what I wanted to start off by saying is thank you to all of you out there that supported me when I decided to post my coming out video on Facebook. Um, that was actually a, a very emotional, it seemed like a week for me when after I posted that and just day in general. Um, it was a big step for me. Especially because the majority of people I have on my face were either from, you know, from elementary, middle school, high school, etc. You know, family and, and such. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. And I love you guys and I appreciate the support that you guys gave me. And it's truly a blessing. Um, I think sometimes when you kind of think about, oh, should I post this, should I post that? post that excuse me um you may feel kind of hesitant but don't allow the fear to dictate your life that's i guess one of the big things that i always have to tell myself when i'm gonna do something because you have to be true to yourself and live in the moment and for this video i wanted to actually like ask maybe any of you if you guys have any regrets i know sometimes you know as people we sit, we regret Maybe certain things we did in the past, or just in general, you know, maybe a mistake we made re recently, or as a child, or a mistake as far as a relationship, and one thing that I've learned, especially this year, that everything, I've always believed that everything happens for a reason, there is no mistakes or coincidences, and especially as far as the people we come across, I feel like sometimes, especially with friends, like I always have some people going in and out of my life, and um, sometimes I'm not really sure of why that is. But I guess sometimes I think as well that maybe, maybe certain people are meant to be in your life for a certain, certain reason or certain timing, you know, maybe to help you get through something you're dealing with, as far as maybe an insecurity or something that you maybe you can't get through on your own and you just need that extra support and sometimes it's outside of your you know your social circle of friends or family in general um sometimes you feel comfortable maybe talking to somebody that doesn't really know you as well and maybe you feel like oh if i talk to somebody else it won't be as far as like anything negative or not building up and I think for myself, now that I'm 27 and I've ex experienced a lot of life at a short amount of, you know, lifespan or years, um, I feel like I've lived a lot, you know, at my age that I am now, especially growing up. And I think maybe in the past, maybe, maybe three, four years ago, I, I probably would have thought oh, I regret, you know, going through this, especially certain things like, you know, my, my childhood experiences and such. And I think now I see things a lot differently just because the fact that this has been a year of, I feel like this is for myself speaking, this has been a year of change for me because I've been trying to be more positive and just really see things from a different perspective and I guess maybe sometimes putting yourself in someone else's shoes and I recently reconciled a relationship with my birth mom and just apologizing for maybe anything that maybe I, I might have done as a child or been disrespectful or hurtful towards her. I know that she's had a hard time growing up as well as myself. and. I think sometimes as people, I know for myself speaking, I, 
as you know growing up I felt like I was hurt by a lot of people and I think in my younger years um, before I was adopted I didn't knew anything about love and what a true family was and what love what being loved was like I was a really really rebellious and honestly probably really disrespectful when it came to authority and I didn't really know how to really express myself so I think I chose to just always either express myself out of anger or disrespect towards authority because of the fact that maybe I felt like I was let down by you know my biological parents or people that I wish that were there and I guess that was like a big thing for me and when I made the outreach to actually talk to her my grandmother was actually really surprised I guess just because of the fact that I usually am very hesitant about actually taking that step but sometimes timing's everything and sometimes you have to kind of take that leap to actually be able to let go of those things maybe that hurt or those scars or something that maybe you feel that's maybe holding you back as a person just in general in your life and I think for me I held on to a lot with my birth mom um, I went through a lot with her growing up especially hurtful situations and domestic situations and I guess seeing her in different types of relationships that weren't really a positive aspect probably for me as a kid and sometimes I you know you you think about things and you recall things from your past especially I guess for myself because I always wanted a, you know a normal family and when I got that my life felt like it completely completely went for a total 360 um, it was a process I guess I can say because I had to get used to structure and different things I think because the fact that I didn't have that much structure growing up um, or you know as, as far as maybe boundaries or just respect in general and I could honestly say that now I am actually glad that I had those boundaries. I believe having those boundaries shaped and molded me into the person that I am today. And that's one thing that I'm actually really grateful for. I think if I think if I wasn't taken out of the situation I was in at that at that time in my life my life would be totally different today. And that's something I'm actually really grateful for. I don't know for anybody else, but I think for myself, speaking that I've always been really, really hard on myself in any situations when it came to me making a mistake, maybe, maybe me feeling like I hurt somebody or said something that maybe offended somebody. And that's, I think uh, when it comes to regrets, that could have been something in the past that I actually really, really struggled with because I always had a lot of self-blame because of them situ those certain situations. And now I guess I try to actually look at my life and where I'm at today in a more of a positive aspect and say, you know what, I've come a really long way and I've changed a lot over the years, especially the way I respond to things and see things and relationships. And I actually had a, a conversation with one of my coworkers recently and I was saying how, which might sound kind of weird to some people, but I was saying I, I commend the guys that I've attempted to date from, I guess, hurting me. I guess I think it actually gave me a different perspective because at that time I felt like I really wasn't ready to date. I think I was looking for love in all the wrong places and because I didn't love myself enough. And I think that's where that video that came before this one is do you love yourself? Because for a while, I don't think I did. I, 
I struggled with, you know, suicidal thoughts and I'm not sure if I would actually would have ever went that far. I doubt that. But sometimes in life you never know. And I am very grateful for the uh, close amount of short friends that I have that are close to me that are always there for me, especially when I need them or my dad, especially. Um, he's a huge supporter in my life and always helps me see things from a different perspective. Um, but yeah, so, so all I have to say is don't live your life with regrets. Live in the moment and learn to forgive yourself. And that was actually something that I talked to my birth mom about because she was saying she was such a bad mother and she had all these regrets. And I, I think as a child, I was a lot more angry at her for not being there. But now that I understand, you know, the addiction life and what it's like and how that really takes a toll on your life, especially working, you know, in that type of industry and seeing things from a more, I guess, different perspective that you learn to have a better understanding for that. And you have to learn to forgive so that you can move on. That's one thing that I've learned. And that forgiveness is everything and it's a beautiful thing. And it's hard sometimes depending on the situation, but I believe that it helps you release a lot of that maybe negativity that you're holding on to. And it's such a huge relief when you're able to say, you know what, I forgive you and let's move on and let's start things at a fresh, you know, start. And the flies are trying to kill me right now. Um, Sometimes I just think about things and I think how crazy it is the way God works. You you think to yourself like, oh, I'm never going to talk to this person again. I'm never going to say this. I'm never going to. You try to avoid a lot of things in your life. And I think for me, when I left my biological side of my family, I, I felt like I was running. Running at a constant speed that and wasn't looking back. And until I had to face a lot of things from my past and forgive and forget, I, I felt more at ease. I felt like a lot of things were let go and I seen things from a different perspective. And that right there in itself was a huge change for me. And I guess when I make these videos, like my, you know, goal is not for anybody to feel sorry for me or anything like that it's just pretty much to give back to give back to those that have helped me and you know just in general to the world just be a blessing because sometimes there's a lot of people who are going through something and your story might change how you know they say things or help them get out of something they're going through and that was my main goal when I talked about the situation that happened you know, with a fam family member of, you know, molestation, or just in general. Um, like I told a lot of people that actually reached out to me after I posted my coming out story that my goal wasn't to hurt anybody or for anybody to feel sorry for me. It was just to say that, you know, yes, I've been through a lot in my life, but I am totally and utterly happier than I've ever been in my life, especially with my family that I have now, the support I have now. And I wouldn't change anything in my life, especially considering everything I've been through. I wouldn't, wouldn't change anything because I feel like if I had a regretted anything I've been through or try to change anything, my life would be totally different now and it wouldn't be how it is now. And that being a more in a positive aspect and I I don't think I would actually see things the way I see things now if I actually wouldn't have gone through a lot of things and actually been able to grow and learn from those experiences whether it be 
whether it was negative or positive, I think each time we're going through something, we take something from those experiences. And it's how you learn to approach it and actually look at it from a different perspective and kind of twist it and say, you know what, yeah, this person wasn't really the greatest to me, but I'm gonna pray for them, I'm gonna forgive them because I'm not gonna allow that negativity to impact my life in a negative way and I'm gonna be the bigger person and just learn to grow from that experience and just to bless them and just pray for them. And that's been my biggest thing is that even though I've had either, you know, a lot of friends or family or just relationships that didn't go so great um, for myself, I learned to just forgive and just say, you know, I'm just gonna pray for that person because one thing my dad always taught me growing up is that when people treat you a certain way, it's because of the issues they have with themselves. And it's not really, not really a personal thing towards you, it's just something that they feel about themselves or how they're, how they're feeling at the moment or have been probably feeling for a while. And that's an awesome lesson that I've always chose to stand upon because I think as a child, especially me coming into the house at 16, I always struggled with that, oh, well, this person treats me this way, this person treats me that way. And I think I always took it more personal until my dad gave me a different way to look at it. And that's something I guess I can encourage you guys to probably think about when it comes to maybe somebody treating you unfair, just not pretty much, you know, appreciating the things maybe you do for them or just in general. Um, I guess my last thing that I would probably want to say is learn to forgive and forget. That is a motto I learned and want to always stick by. Learn to forgive and forget and just move on. Don't allow people or things from your past to hold you back from truly being yourself and truly being happy because it's not worth holding on to all that negativity and you know drawing that negative energy around you associate yourself with positive people and great things that make you happy learn to live out your dreams and not allow somebody to stop you from dreaming or believing in those dreams or in yourself and if you're in a situation where you feel like you're being enabled in those type of you know struggles or areas in your life i say just leave that alone and move on from that and choose to let go of that relationship or that situation because it's not benefiting you in any kind of way and that's one thing that i've learned but i'm gonna end the video like this until next time and i hope that i was able to help maybe somebody out there and if you have any questions feel free to comment below and subscribe and like you know my video if you liked it and don't feel like you can't ask me anything I'm an open person and yeah so you hope you're having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your day and stay cool